Welcome back everyone, it's 60 Years of Hulk. We'll be checking out Hulk figures from 2000 to 2009. This is an unbelievable collection and I'm super excited to open all these today. Let's check out our first figure from 2009. This is Marvel Super Hero Secret Wars 2-pack. We get Hulk and Cyclops. On the front it says Marvel Universe Comic Packs. And it has Hulk and Cyclops, and it looks like we get a book. Maybe a comic book in the background there. We'll check out the back of the package. There's Hulk and Cyclops again. It looks like there's 12 to collect. Here's some other two packs offered. Let's check out our first two pack from 2009. On the front it says Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars. And it comes with Hulk and Cyclops. Let's take a look at the back. There's Hulk and Cyclops and some other figures we can collect within this set. Let's get a closer look at these. Next, let's take a look at our Hulk and Cyclops out of the package. It's Hulk and Cyclops and they're in a cool action pose. Let's move Cyclops aside and check out our Hulk figure. This is an awesome Hulk figure and it reminds me of a lot of other Hulk figures that we've opened, kind of similar size and mold to it looks like there's a little fuzzy on hulk's hair there we go so yeah this is cool i really like this design of hulk i think it's really neat and our 2008 hulks kind of sort of look similar where they bend up the the abdominal area there on this one okay so this one twists like right there right below the rib cage there for hulk and there's a little bit of Posability here. So, yeah, this is a cool figure. Really neat. All right, let's take a look at Cyclops. Here's Cyclops, another cool figure. Has a little bit of articulation also to it. And we'll get a closer look at the head sculpt of both of these figures in just a little bit. There's a closer look at Hulk and Cyclops. This figure two pack also came with a comic book. Number 4 and 12 issue limited series Marvel Superhero Secret Wars beneath 150 billion tons stands the Hulk. And he's not happy. I can see why he wouldn't be happy with all of those tons on top of him. So yeah, this is a comic book and pretty cool. We'll just kind of page through it quickly here so we can get an idea of what's in here. It's time to move on to Hulk figures from 2008. And we have two 2008 Hulk figures, Hulk and Grey Hulk, Marvel Universe figures. Check out the back of these. This figure is figure number 13 and we have this Grey Hulk at figure 14. Looks like we can collect some other figures within the set. Here's a close up of these. Here's a look at our figures out of the package. We have Grey Hulk and Hulk. Let's check out Grey Hulk first. It looks like he's doing a double smash. This looks a lot like the 2009 Hulk, but it does have its differences. And check out this smashing motion he can do. Has similar articulation to the 2009 Hulk also. Super, super awesome. All right, here's our next Hulk. So there's lots of different Hulk figures that had this similar sculpt, like I was mentioning before. So 2008, 2009, we had some from like around 2010 and 11 also, I believe. That's awesome. All right, and this also each of these comes with this top secret envelope. Top secret, I wonder what could be inside. Whatever it is, it's top secret. So let's check it out. I'm just gonna rip this open, not gonna do it the neat way. Okay, cool, we get a Hulk identification card. That's really cool, I didn't expect that in there. Superhuman Registration Act, that's interesting. And it looks like we get this. And something else here. Okay, interesting. <laughs> an evaluation on Hulk. 
we'll set that aside and let's check out the other one. I really like that picture identification card. I think that looks really cool. Oh, here it is. That's awesome. Let's compare the two. Both of these are super cool. I'm glad they're in a different pose. That makes it a little bit different and more unique, which is awesome. And then I think it comes with probably the other two things. So I do actually, thinking back, I do remember opening something like this before. So maybe I've had these figures at one time, or at least one of them. Here's all three of these Hulks together. We have the 2008 Hulks on the end and this 2009 Hulk front and center. I think out of all these, I like this 2009 Hulk probably the best. I mean, these are cool too, but yeah, definitely I'd say this one's number one. Finally, we are getting to this series of Hulk. I've been waiting to unbox these for the longest time. I'm super excited. This is the Incredible Hulk, Classic Hulk, and this is from 2008. And it looks like Hulk comes with some boulders and Hulk is about to launch this boulder. Here's a look at the back of the package. This shows what our figure can do and how we use it. So it says pull back and release to hurl the boulder and the boulder smashes to pieces. So we actually have two figures that look similar, have similar packaging, but this is 2008 on it. So it's 2008 all the way down. The other one says 2008, but it also says 2007. So that'll represent our 2007 Hulk. Wow, this is really cool. I like that this comes with a rock and this is the split rock. Now we're gonna put it together. So there's the rock put together and it will split apart when Hulk launches. But first let's take a look at our Hulk figure. This is super, super awesome. Check out all of the detail on this figure. And I like that this does really have that classic Hulk look to him with a little bit of like more modern modifications to it too. It's not like completely, completely classic looking, but it is though in a lot of ways, especially with like just the, the pants or the ripped purple pants that he has have turned into shorts and then like the waistband definitely makes it look classic. All right, now let's get into the best part about this, it's launching the boulder. Here's Hulk with the boulder in hand and he's gonna launch it, he's pull his arms back and he launches it. I think this looks really cool. It looks like Hulk smashed through the boulder and it's into two pieces. The figure also came with this. It shows different figures we can collect within the set. Next up, it's Hulk from 2007. This is a similar packaging to the other Hulk we just opened. This is the Incredible Hulk Mega Clap Hulk. It says press button for the Mega Clap Attack. Here's a look at the back of the package and the Hulk is so powerful that the sound of his palms slamming together is super powerful like a shockwave that can even cause windows to shatter. Here's some other figures in the set that we can collect. Here's a look at our Hulk figure out of the package. And in just a little bit, we'll check out Hulk's Mega Clap and see how powerful it actually is. This time Hulk has some brown shorts. We're gonna bring his arms up just like this. We're gonna check out that mega clap. Here it goes. It wasn't exactly powerful enough to shatter windows, but it is super Hulk powerful. Here's a close up of our figure and it looks super awesome. Just like all the other Hulks, I really like this figure too. And how we make his hands clap together is we just press down on this button on his back. Here's a look at the booklet this figure comes with and it looks like it's the same as the other one. And this checklist will come in handy so we can collect all these different Hulk vehicles and sets. Next up, we have our 2006 Hulk. This is the Marvel Legends Planet Hulk. Here's some battle scenes on the side of the box. 
On the back of the package, we have Planet Hulk, and we can collect all six figures to build this build a figure. Here's Planet Hulk out of the package, and he comes with some accessories that we'll put on him. We have this spiked shoulder harness. We'll put that on Hulk to start with. And we also have this helmet for Hulk. And lastly, a shield. Planet Hulk is complete with this spiked shoulder armor. And I think this helmet looks really neat too. And I like how we can take it on and off. And this shield comes in handy for defense. We'll take the shield off just for a little bit so we can look at his hands. It looks like his fingers can move. We can open and close his hands, which is really neat. His thumb can also move up and down. And it really comes in handy when he's holding on to the shield. That way we can grip onto it by moving his hands like this. Here's a close-up of our Hulk figure and he can twist at the waist and he does that Hulk smash power punch. We'll take his helmet off, get a close-up of his head. This also comes with a figure guide. Shows a bunch of different action figures we can collect. I always like these. This one's super cool because it shows a lot of different figures. This Spider-Man ATV four-wheeler is really cool. Here's the next page. It shows more Spider-Man Origins figures. Here's a Marvel Legends collection. That's really neat. All those figures. Some more Marvel Legends. Ghost Rider. More Ghost Rider. Awesome. Now let's move on to our next Hulk figure. Here it is everyone, Hulk from 2005. This is the Galactus series Marvel Legends first appearance Grey Hulk. It also comes with a bonus 32 page comic book. We also get the left arm of the Galactus build a figure. Here's a look at the back of the package. It shows a bunch of other figures we can collect within this set that also come with a comic book. And there's also this power grid. Starting with intelligence is very low for Hulk. Strength is extremely high. It's all the way to the max. Speed is so-so, yeah, almost in the middle. And durability is also to the max. So he's super durable. Energy, nah, not that much energy projection and fighting skills is, is pretty good, right in the middle. As you can see, his strength and his durability really make up for the fighting skills. Here is our 2005 Hulk out of the package and I'm super, super excited. Quickly, before we check out Hulk in the comic book, this is the Build-A-Figure arm that comes with this figure. So we'll set that aside and we have Hulk and we also have this comic book which is super exciting this is actually a reprint or made to look like the very first incredible hulk comic book this would be the introduction to hulk which is super super awesome i'll just quickly flip through here and check that out on the back there's marvel legends Figures, the Galactic, Galactus series, which is really neat. There's the Hulk we'll be checking out in just a little bit. All right, here it is, everyone, our new Hulk figure. Again, this is made to look like the very first Hulk, and it does. It looks like the very first Hulk. And just like a lot of the other Hulks we've been checking out, they made the thumbs movable and the fingers movable. This one doesn't want to move quite as well just because it's been in the package so long and kind of a little bit challenging. The more we move them, the more they'll open and close, but I kind of like to keep them that way so they're not like super loose. That way they're better for posing. Yeah, this one's really like kind of challenging to move its elbow and, and just probably its knees too. Yeah, it doesn't move too well, but that's definitely not a bad thing. Wow, this is cool. I like the the look of this Hulk. It just has a different look than the other ones, which is awesome. I like the blue pants and they're, they're ripped. I think that looks really neat. 
I like how the feet can move like this and then we can also move the toes like down and up. It's time for our next figure. It's the 2004 Incredible Hulk Smart Hulk with Gamma Sound Blaster. The packaging on this figure is awesome. Hulk is jumping out, smashing through something and there's our figure with that Gamma Sound Blaster. Looking at the back of the package, it shows Savage Hulk, Smart Hulk, Joe Fixit Hulk, and Abomination. And there is Hulk. I cannot wait to unbox this figure. Here's Smart Hulk out of the package. Smart Hulk has a black tank top on and brown pants with a black belt. And he also has black boots. And he can bend his toes up and down, kind of like some of our other Hulk figures. And he also comes with this blaster. And if I press right here, it doesn't make the sounds. The batteries need to be replaced. When I did set it down after taking it out of the package, it did make some sounds though. Now it's just not doing it, unfortunately. Here's a closer look at Smart Hulk with his blaster in hand. And a close up of Smart Hulk's face and head. Our 2003 Hulk is the Hulk Motion Picture Series Twist and Slam Hulk with collapsible brick wall. I really like the design of this box, especially the side. I think it looks really cool. Here's a look at the back of the box. On the top right, it says Twist and Slam Hulk. Collect them all, Bruce Banner and Rage and Roar Hulk. We unbox those in different videos. It says, squeeze Hulk's legs together. Hulk will twist at the waist and his right arm will swing forward to destroy the brick wall. Here's a look at this Hulk out of the package and it does come with this collapsible brick wall. We'll check that out in just a little bit, but first let's check out our Hulk figure. I really like these Hulk figures from the Hulk movie in 2003. They're really neat, they're all different and they all they I mean they have similarities but they're overall just different and unique which I think is really neat so this one we can squeeze the legs together and he does like a twisting motion and brings his arm down that's how he's gonna smash into the brick wall and he has a fist in this hand actually fists both hands are in a fist there's a cement surface with a brick wall and it's a collapsible brick wall so Hulk's gonna bring up his right arm and knocks it down. We can also take this part out. That way it laid flat in the packaging. We can put this back here and put the wall back together. There it is, Hulk from 2003. I'll set this aside and let's check out our next Hulk figure. It got extremely difficult to find Hulk figures from 2000, 2001, and 2002. So I found this Hulk and it's out of the package and it says 2002 on his foot. So I'm assuming this is a 2002 figure and this is really all we have for 2002. I know they made some comic books. There's probably some Hulk cards from 2002, but I'm not 100% sure. So again, this is our 2002 Hulk representation here. And he has the fingers, they're longer fingers and they can move. They move all four together and the thumb is stuck in place on both of these, but the four fingers move together, not separately and looks like you can move his foot also. So yeah, that's cool. That's 2002. Next up, we have a Hulk from 2001. This is the Taco Bell Hulk figure. Here's a closer look at this Hulk and it's actually kind of cool. So we have this handle we can hold on to and then we can press these buttons. And Hulk will twist in different directions. We press the top button and Hulk will do a left swinging motion. And we'll get his hands up higher so he does like a 
Hooking Hulk Smash Punch. Our last Hulk to check out is from the year 2000. And this Hulk is tiny. I'm not sure exactly which set this came from, but I'm guessing maybe a game, but it could have come with something else too, because it does say 2000 on it. If you know where this Hulk came from, like which set, definitely let me know in the comment section below. There's just not much from 2000 and 2001 for Hulk action figures. And here's a size comparison. So you can see this Hulk is much smaller. We have officially opened Hulk figures from the year 2000 to 2009. Here's another look at all the figures we opened. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.